Hello everyone and uh, I welcome you to another video of our linked list series and this in this video we are going to look at another interview problem called uh, reversal linked list. So let's uh, see the description of this question. So the description of the question goes like uh, given the head of a singly linked list, reverse the list and return the reverse list. Alright. So what does this mean is see this example where we have five nodes and data are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and if we reverse this linked list so what would be the new linked list? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 so this is the output 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 alright let's look at another example 1 and 2 and if we reverse it our uh, output would be 2, 1 okay now before jumping to solution you may pause the video and try the solution on your own otherwise uh, you can watch the video okay so first of all let's make our link list here two and it is three it is four increase the size of it then it is five suppose we have another one that is six all right now can you like think how would be the reversal here? Okay, suppose we have some function like we write a function to do this job, all right. And at any time, our uh, function reaches here. Okay, suppose you have a curve which is iterating this uh, linked list, and so curve is here right now. Okay. So before this, what would be what would we be having? Yes. Okay. Cool. Now, how would you change this arrow to this arrow? What will you do to do this? Okay. So first of all, to do do this, you should be having address of this one. This node. Let's call it previous. So what you will uh, simply do, you will just ch uh, change curves next to previous, okay. But how will you come here? So for this, you are going to have another node, let's call it next, okay. And assign next as curves next, okay. I am not writing the whole thing here, but get a gist, right. Next is equal to curves next. And then after doing this, you ju you will just want to change curl from here to here, meaning we will change curl to next. Okay, that's good. So this is how uh, the thing is going to work. All right. Now you must be wondering one thing that that is okay. The intermediate parts you can uh, think of how the loop would work. But suppose we are at the first node, then what would be then what would be the previous here? Yes, you guess it right. So previous would be null. Alright, we'll initially put previous as null and uh, we'll just point this to here. Alright, and one more thing. Since uh, this was previous, we did everything and then our previous is also going to change from here to here. And same thing would work. Okay. Alright, that's good. Now let's clear it a bit. Okay. Yeah. And suppose this is the thing. And this is our uh, number. And cur is here right now. Okay. Now what is going to happen? We'll uh, point 6 which is pointing towards null to 5. And uh, we'll remove this part. And after like everything, what will happen? We we'll have a null at which our curve would be pointing, right? And this would be pointing towards previous. And after this loop, we'll see that curve is equal to null. We'll come out of the loop, and the new head would be previous. Six would be the new head. All right. This is going to be the new link list. Okay. Now let's try and code this thing. 
in the ID. All right. So let's let's uh, see. Let's have list. Let's make our nodes. First is going to be curl, which is going to point towards head. Then we are going to have a previous, uh, which is going to point towards uh, null. All right. Okay. Now we'll see why curl is not equal to null. We are going to perform operations. Well, let's let's have one more node. Next, which is going to store uh, curl's next address. Yes. Okay. And now curl's next is going to point towards uh, priv. Alright. Now priv is going to point towards curl, and curl is now going to point towards next. Alright. So this was the code. And we we'll simply return prefer. All right. So this was uh, the uh, working which I told you. Now let's try and run this thing. Okay. So accepted. Now let's try and submit this code. All right. So we got the correct output. Okay. So I hope uh, this question helped you and this question is like pretty important I'll say because there are like tougher problems ahead where uh, we have to you know uh, reverse and pairs and stuff so we'll, we'll uh, jump to that but uh, you need to have the uh, you, you need to have a basic skill which you can have here all right so yeah that's it for this video Thank you for watching. See you later.